A former Providence City official is ordered behind bars for the second time. Today, a federal judge in Providence sentenced former Providence Highway Superintendent Edward Buckles Malisi to 46 months in prison for selling prescription drugs. And this latest sentence comes decades after he was convicted of corruption while working for the CNC administration. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau joins us live now with details that are new at 5. There is a significant difference between what Malisi admits he sold and what the government claims he sold. In the end, it adds up to about four years for at least $30,000 in drug sales. Edward Malisi argued for an 18-month sentence, asking the court to consider his acceptance of guilt, his health problems, and his addiction to gambling. I'm guilty as charged, he told the court, but in referring to counseling he's undergoing with Gamblers Anonymous, he said, I've met some good people there who have changed my life forever. Malisi pleaded guilty in June to four federal counts involving the distribution of more than a thousand pills of the prescription drug oxycodone. Malisi admitted selling them for $30 apiece, but the government claims they sell for about $38 each. And records indicated Malisi obtained more than 5,100 pills over a three-year period. Judge Mary Lisi rejected the shorter sentence, telling the defendant if the court was allowed to consider his complete criminal record, he would be facing a significantly longer sentence in the 84-month range. She told him he was actually being sentenced as a first-time offender. The prosecution asked for a 52-month sentence, telling the court the prospects for rehabilitating someone like Malisi were not good. Kenneth Madden told the court, quote, there's no reason to believe that he will change. Malisi was released in order to turn himself in on January 11th. He could be eligible for release after serving 85% of his sentence. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.